Today is January 26th, and as usual, I'll be taking a look at the new items on Halo Infinite store and determining whether or not they're worth your money. So how's it going, Magpies? I'm Magpie Leon, and let's jump straight in. Now, I know, I, of course, I say items in the intro, but today's video is more of the daily item. That's right, on today's shop, we've only got one new item. It's an individual weapon coating, which is the Acid Burn coating. Now, before I talk about the actual price point of this item, or what I think of it overall, uh... I just want to say that I do think this is one of the nicer assault rifle coatings, but its primary issue is definitely its price tag. This individual weapon coast coating costs 300 credits, which I know that isn't a super high amount, but for one single coating, for what is essentially just a colour swap, 300 credits quite frankly is not a fair price point. The other day I made another shop video covering the Vakara bread set. This bundle is something that contains four weapon coatings, and a stance, and that only costs 500 credits. Now I'm aware that the weapon coatings in that are a rare rarity, and this one is an epic rarity, but that shouldn't really mean much. As far as weapon coatings go, although the colours on here look much nicer, this is still just a colour swap. There's no fancy details, there's no like decals or anything like that that make this one special. It is a colour swap, and 300 credits for a colour swap is not a fair price, that is not fair to the players of the game. I'd happily buy a bundle, maybe that cost around about 500 to 700 credits, if this if the, if this coating came for a few weapons rather than just the one. But the fact that this is a singular weapon skin for 300 credits that you cannot apply to any other weapons, I just don't think's fair. In yesterday's video, people were trying to tell me about how uh, the rarity works and how I'm looking at this compared to other Halo games rather than other live service games, which, uh, to be honest, isn't true. Fortnite is the main thing I compare this game to, as I believe as far as uh, stores go, daily item shops and that sort of thing, I believe Fortnite is the standard. Simple weapon skins like this in Fortnite tend to be about 3 to 500 V-Bucks, and you can apply them to all of your weapons and vehicles, with some of the more expensive ones having cool details, whether that be the fact that they're animated or maybe they're like see-through or made of some really cool material. For this being a colour swap, 300 credits just isn't right. I believe if this was a rare weapon coating that cost around about 200 or 100 credits, then I think that would be fine. In fact, personally, how I'd handle the, the prices for the weapon coatings, individually at least, would be 100 credits for a rare, 200 for an epic, and 300 for a legendary. That would seem fair, as long as those weapon skins feel like they are th worth that rarity. Legendary coatings should definitely have some more standout details, whether that be cool decals or maybe some part of the weapon coating is actually animated. I know that's probably hard to do with the coating system, but you have to make these rarities. I say that in like heavy quotation marks because there isn't really a rarity involved here, but I believe they should seem like they're worth that money. This isn't a weapon model or anything like that. This doesn't change the gun's overall like build or its actual appearance. It is just a colour. You are paying for the gun to be black and green rather than the sort of grey and yellow that it usually is. And personally, I just don't think that's right. Now, I do believe individual items should cost more expensive than what they would be in a bundle. Like, let's say, for example, there's a bundle that comes with the acid burn coating for four or five different weapons. And that bundle costs 700 credits, but if you wanted to buy those coatings individually, they'd be 200 each. Now, that would mean that the bundle would co be cheaper than the individual weapons if you were to try and obtain every weapon skin. So the bundle, therefore, would be the better option, but if you wanted to just buy one of them, you could just spend 200 credits and get one of the weapon coatings, and I think that would be fair. But the issue is, it's, it's less so of the price, but rather the item that is underneath that price tag. Again, if this weapon had some really cool details, like maybe some decals, maybe because it's called Acid Burn, make part of the weapon look like it's been melted away by acid, and I'd have no issue paying 300 credits. But this is a colour swap, and I think for what th roughly $3, that just isn't worth it. The other primary issue here is that we've had one item today. It's not a bundle, it's not a couple of items, it's one individual item. And again, that's terrible. I think the individual items could be handled so much better on the shop. For example, they could bring back some of those 1,000, 1,500 credit bundles that we've seen before, but bring them all back as individual items on the shop. Stuff like the ISR and Enigma helmets, bring them back as individual items and have them on the store so people have more variety to spend their credits on. But anyway, folks, I know I've rambled on quite a lot today about how I'd handle the individual items or weapon coatings or whatever. Uh, it's just something that I've got quite strong feelings about, as I do believe they're being handled really poorly. And I want to see the game improve. I love this game. I think it's really fun. Uh, and 
you know, I want to be able to spend my money on it. I want to be able to buy cool items that are selling for a fair price. But right now, that just doesn't seem to be the case. We have a, a good bundle now and again, like Citrus Inc. over Cara Bread. But then we also have stuff like this, where it's 300 credits for green stripes on your assault rifle. Anyway, folks, that's all from me. If you have enjoyed today's video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new here. I'm aiming for a thousand subs by the end of the year, and I think that's an achievable goal. The support on the channel, as I say in all these videos, has been phenomenal at the moment, and I can't thank you all enough. But anyway, folks, that's all from me, and I'll catch you in the next one.